All right, so I built my little box. Uh, this is for the uh, Keithley um, electrometer. I need a shielded box to do my measurements. So I have, I have uh, used this old uh, metal box here that used to have a uh, attenuator in it. It no longer does. And there's a cut cable coming in. And then inside, I have a little knob on the top so I can lift the lid off. And then inside I have, uh, I have what I need. So let's make sure this is in, make sure this is in good focus. So I have the, uh, because the thing to get something to point with, oh, where my pencil went. Anyway, uh, so down here, uh, the cable comes in and the shield goes to the case. The case is shielded. And then the, uh, the shielded uh, ground comes over here uh, to this. And the center conductor comes over here to the, uh, to this, let me show you what this cable is connected to. Okay, so this cable is connected to a triax BNC. So if you've never seen one of those, this is a. Let me see if I can guess how far I can. How far I can zoom in on that. There. So, uh, so the triax has a regular BNC. Okay, it looks like a regular BNC, and it does fit a BNC size, but inside is a second. Uh, shield, so outer shield, inner shield, and a center semiconductor. So that is a triax connector. Um, much to my chagrin, there are two different types. There's a type with uh, regular BNC uh, uh, lugs that are 180 degrees apart, but then there are also some that have three lugs that are 120 degrees apart, and uh, they're all triacs, so they just have a different lug structure. So yeah, great. So I'm trying to find some more connectors to do some experiments with. So I have to be careful to buy the right ones. Okay, so that's that. So uh, that cable then goes in down here. Let me get the cable out of the way. So don't trip over it. There we go. All right, so that cable will hook up to the, uh, to the electrometer. And so that comes in here and hooks it up. So what I've done is I've, I can't, you can't really see it, but these are both on uh, nylon standoffs. And so they're insulated from the box. And then these little clips here, these little, these little silver clips here are actually silver metal. And they were leftover parts from when I ripped apart the, uh, uh, the attenuator. There was some uh, 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 silver shielding. And so I've used some of that and I've created a, a, a little V, a little V. I have, I have two pieces of metal on each one. So if I bring in some, something to test, okay, I can set it in this V and I can set it in this V and it automatically clips on. And I have a silver contact and it's inside a shielded box. I put the lid on and I'm ready to measure. So, so that's the box that I made this morning. And so I thought we'd give it a try, see if it, uh, see if we can measure some things, right? So it's really easy to pop, really easy to pop things in and out. Okay, so what can we measure? Um, I've shown some of these before. Uh, these are some fancy resistors. Are we focused? Uh, I have a box full of fancy resistors. Uh, let's see, this one, this one is 100 meg ohms. Okay. Uh, this one is 400 meg ohms. Uh, this one down here is 800 meg ohms. So there are all these big red ones. So 100, 400, 800. Uh, I think this one with the short little leads on it is 1,000 meg ohms, but it leads are a little bit short on that one. But I recently purchased, I recently purchased these guys. So um, these are Soviet. Um, these are Soviet uh, resistors. They are glass encapsulated, so you can't touch anything. And uh, this one is a uh, 10. Uh, it's a 10 with a acrylic character that looks like a uh, upside down L. It goes up and then over. And I've been told that's gigom. So this is 10 gigomes. And then I have another one that looks exactly the same. Uh, that is 100 gigomes. Okay, so this one's a, I have, so I bought two of each. I've got two 10 gig ohms and two 100 gig ohms. And so, so if we can measure those things, 
Uh, let's see, what's this funny one here? I forget what that one is. That one looks interesting. That one's in a glass container as well. This looks just like uh, 28.1 megs. So anyway, so let's, uh, let's go over and measure some of these. All right, uh, so I think I'll keep this lens on it so we can see the numbers good. Um, so I am going to uh, take some parts out of the box here. And we'll measure them. And I have, uh, I have my shielded box over here so it's all connected up. And so let me lock the camera down so it won't move around. And uh, let's put in, let's put in something. So let's start out with that uh, 28, what is it, 20, well, let's just put it in. It's supposed to be 20, 28.1. So let me, let me pop that in. I'll hit ohms. There we go. So it's 28 point, let's see if it settles down. Oh, let me put the lid on the box. I don't think it really matters at these levels, but I'll put the lid on the box anyway. So it's 28.3, about mega ohms, okay? So we have the plus nine, 10 to the ninth, right? So these are gig ohms. So we're 0 0.028 gig ohms. So that one is measuring 100 and, Bouncing around, 100 and 101, 102. There we go, it's going down a bit. But anyway, about 101 megohms. So that was our 100 megohm. Let's put in a 400 megohm. All right, so I found a 400 ohm, uh, I mean a 400 ohm, 400 megohms. So 399, very good. All right, let's uh, put in the uh, 800 megohm. Takes longer and longer to settle. At the very, very highest settling, uh, highest, highest readings, it's at uh, two, a two minute settling time. But so 807 mega ohms. 866 mega ohms. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So let's put in the one, I'm going to put in the uh, 10. There's a long settling time because you're talking really, really small, uh, small voltages, small currents. It's certainly in the ballpark, though. I think these are marked plus and minus 5%. So it should get down to 105 if it's, uh, if that marking is correct, 106. 105, there we go, it's getting closer. 104, we're getting closer. So yeah, so 100, 100 uh, gig ohm, no, this is 10 gig ohms, I'm sorry, 10 gig ohms. Let me, let me change the range again. I think we can get better, here we go, 10. Yeah, 10 gig, there we go, 10.2 gig. All right, so 10.1, yeah, certainly within 1% then. Well, it's been about two minutes and it's at 93.8 gig ohms. Um, and it does seem to be rising, although very, very slowly. So I might just not be able to how to, how to use this instrument yet, or the settling times for these high level measurements just might be, you know, maybe like 10 minute settling time for, for very high, very high numbers. I'm not quite sure. Um, I do believe it keeps going up. So the resistor is 5%. So if it was 95 gig ohms, it would be within spec. So I think we're getting close to probably what the, what the, what the uh, resistor really is. It's probably around uh, a little bit on the low side. Very, very cool. So, you know, it, it is uncalibrated as well, but uh, yeah, so I was able to measure uh, 100 gig ohms. That's pretty cool. On a tera ohm, uh, tera ohm scale. That is just, that is just craziness. Well, anyway, there you go. I think it works. Uh, and, um, yeah. So I think the next thing to do is maybe, uh, look at some, uh, I think we'll look at some capacitors. I think that'll be fun. So next video, I think I'll do, uh, do something with capacitors. 
94 gig ohms, 94.4 gig ohms.